Hey guys, me Joy Perez back in another video. Today we are going to be opening the Giganotosaurus. But before we do that, that's for the end of the video. We're going to review all of these dinosaurs. But before we do that, first do the ski steps. One, like, two, subscribe, and three, turn the notification bell when you get so then you can get notified when I post another video. With that said, let's review. Take a puppet. I think this is a Velociraptor from Camp Cretaceous. The main stripes are, it's like a, I want to say a brown, then like a tan, and the entire, then the entire dinosaur is like a purplish gray. And then we got this Velociraptor, which is nails, well, claws, and his teeth are yellow, his eyes are red. I'm just going to get you guys up close with that. Then the entire dinosaur is green, and then his little scale things are purple, I mean not purple, yellow, like a light yellow. And this is a Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex, mini T-Rex Funko Pop. I, I really enjoy this one, it's pretty cool, I like it. It was one of my, it, this is my first, I, I think my first mini Funko, not bobblehead Funkos like the blind boxes, but like a vinyl figure, that's what they're called. And this is it. Of course, the like yellowish tan underbelly, go, then going to the brown, the light brown, then dark brown spots on all around the body, yellow eyes, brown pupil, and like the burgundy inside of the mouth, and then black claws. And then we've got some miniatures. Let's all bring this, bring all of them, even the skeleton. First, we should start with the T-Rex skeleton. Just T-Rex skeleton, something really simple. We got the head, we got the tail, we got the feet, we got the leg, we got the arms, everything like a dinosaur skeleton should have. Then we got these minis. We got a Carnotaurus, uh, like a bluish green eye, red mouth, red body, brown top, like a dark brown top, and white teeth. Claws are also red. Um, here we got the what is this? I think it's a stegosaurus. I think it's this. Most likely stegosaurus. Then we got the plates of the stegosaurus, the white underbelly, the grayish mouth, the very big pupil, and the eye, and then. Claws are not painted. And then we got blue. And we got smaller blue, which I consider beta. We got the blue stripes of blue. Basically, just think blue, smaller. Got the red mouth, well, the red tongue piece of the mouth. The very tiny pupil. And then the eye, well, the slit pupil. And then. That's, and then it's like a green, well not like a green, not green, like a green gray. And then we got blue, blue, the yellowish underbelly, oh, I didn't show you the underbelly of this one, just gray. Where did I get this one? We got the blue stripes, but it's, the outline of the stripes are like a white. That's some, like, I want to say brown black dots and then again oh we could open the mouth of this one like yellow li yellow teeth red mouth um bigger pupil this time this is a bigger blue and we got the yellow eye and the black pupil and then we got the attractor i think tiger just normal Funko Pop, but we got the base, the white underbelly, the white, like the white red snout, the white tongue, the yellow eyes, and the black claws. And we got the stripes, like a tiger, I guess that's why they call it the tiger chest raptor. And then the side muscle is white. And then my very first Hammond collection is this one. I think I've already done a video on this. Well, you could view, go on it one more time. We've got a posable tail. 
this. Both parts of the tail are posable. You got movable legs, movable knee joints, and movable feet. You can swivel and it can go up and down. That's for every single leg, and then the head can move up and down, and go side to side, and it can go 360. And then we got the T-Rex. Big old T-Rex. This one is a Mattel Jurassic World Dominion. If you guys want to scan it, you can scan it. Let me put all the scanners out. We'll do that too. Oh no, never mind. I'm gonna scan it. Scanner this one. No, no scanner. Never mind, this is the only scanner. You guys can pause it if you guys want to see it. But that is a scanner. We got move the feet. Yeah, another move the foot. Little arm. Two right little arms. We got the tail. The tail will make the main body move like this. So you could, if you hold down the leg, or if it's stable enough, you can move him up, well, her up and down. And then if you hold that, then her jaw will, or her mouth will open, and then you could shove Adel Carnotaurus down. So. And then you could skip it out. Well, you gotta take it out. Sometimes the seats are too big. Or you could put blue. Like that, or like this. And then like this, you can thrash and throw it. Thrash and throw it. And that's the T Rex. But, we all know the T Rex has a competitor, which is the Giga Nada Source. I haven't pre opened this, so this is a unboxing. I'll show you this stuff. Okay. It says Jurassic World Dominion, Giganotosaurus. It says Strike, Chomp. Hold on, I'm not even showing you guys. Let me go around so then I can show you. And it makes sounds. It could hold a dinosaur. Strike, Chomp, and then it has a scanner. I could pause that if you guys want to just, if you guys want to scan it. And I'll go back around so then I uh, can unbox it. Here you got the underside where you can open it. Let's open it. Yeah. Got it opened. And we have these little feet pegs. That's one foot peg. Still one. Okay, there's one foot peg. We turn it. Until it comes off like that snap. Let me just take it out. I know the feet loose. Make sure to have parental supervision while using scissors. Snip that rubber band. Snip that rubber band. And then, oh, where is the stuff? Oh, and then I knew there was one more clip. Twist, twist, twist. Boom. That's out of the way. And then we have the Giga Nada Source. Here's the Giga Nada Source out of the packaging. Scanner. I'll put both oh no mind. I'll put both of the scanners up one more time. Oh you guys a few seconds. I'll count to three. To scan them. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we got, we got to close that. Okay. We got the Giganotosaurus. Is it? Here's the this, which will, which will open the mouth. T-Rexes, and then this is just 
But this rubbery, no, not rubbery at all. This part is rubbery, that's for sure. And this is all just plastic, movable tail. Let's do this one more time. Then it can go up, down, all the way down, I think. Nope, this is as much as it can go. Until it will go like that. And balance. This is, oh, this is how far down the T-Rex can go. So, so then we have this. Compared jaw size. Let's open this one now. Wait, where is it? There you go, that one, and then you have the jaw of this one. Big difference. The jaw is big enough to fit around the neck. Now let's see about the Gnotosaurus. Open up the jaw. Almost big enough to open, well, to almost clamp the jaw. Okay, arm size, completely different. Height size though. Let's put them, let's put them, let's put them all the way up. Oh no, this leg needs to see down. That, 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 that is how far that one can go up, and this is how far this one can go up. So, it's so like the T Rex has a little bit more, more, little bit more, mo a little bit more mobility to her. We got this one. This one can go like this. Yeah. Now let's see who would win. Okay, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.